we're drilling. We got the old 15, five, got the old 515 on the chassis to hold two. So 30 foot wide drill here on 10 inch spacings. It's an old John Deere that I picked up last year on auction. I think it was last, yeah, it was last year. So I'm rolling at a 6.4, probably a little faster than what I should go, but it's really smooth ground, so I'm gonna go with it. We're putting on about 70 to 75 pounds an acre. I'm running on a wheat setting, and rye is a smaller weed than wheat. So the wheat setting is set for 55 pounds, which is what I had it set last year for cover crop that we are going to bale and graze. And it ended up putting on, I think it was 73 pounds an acre, and I just left the drill the same. So we should be putting on about 70 some pounds an acre again. Some people say that's a lot. Some people say that's not enough. Um, this field that I'm doing right here, I came in here last night real late and I just knocked down the ridges because we had it hilled. So I knocked the ridges down to get it smooth. And just on this corner here, my plan is I'm gonna fence off the draw and calve right here in March. Otherwise, what I'd really like to do is this is my dad's field, so if I could convince him to bale this and then go in with corn, that'd be great because I could use the bales. Otherwise, I'm going to try and just rent this corner from him and my uncle. Hopefully, they let me rent it. And then, because I really need the bales for next year, it keeps me from having to buy them. And this is a nice, smooth corner. It'd work out perfect for it. But otherwise, I'll end up grazing this across the creek there. I didn't do anything. I did the ends because it was really rough. You can you can see we have some beans in the draw that we didn't cut because it's so grassy. We're almost out of diesel.
So now I am moved over. I ended up changing the rate on this drill because I was running out of seed pretty fast. And this stuff right here is more or less just gonna be a cover crop for the field. And then I'm gonna graze it as cattle, with my cattle. So I ended up turning down the rate. Uh, the rate was on about 73 pounds per acre. And then I turned it down to about 50 pounds per acre, which is still plenty, but I want a good coverage here because I am on 10 inch spacing. That motor is a hunk of junk, and it just needs to get replaced. We hear all different types of sayings every day. We're in studios and we're doing our thing. In case you guys were wondering, uh, this year I am planting Ryman Rye. R-Y-M-I-N Rye. Now it, this is more of a, it's classified more as a forage rye unlike elven rye. Elven rye is what I planted last year and it's what you see in most fields. Uh, or most people use it for cover crop is elven rye. But this is Ryman rye and the biggest difference is, this is new to me, but they say that the leaves will come all the way down to the ground. Elven rye it usually has kind of a long stem and then a few leaves on the top. And this Ryman rye is more of a forage. You're supposed to get more pounds per more pounds per acre back um, for baling and stuff like that, haylage, silage, whatever you end up using it for. So that's what we are using this year. We are gonna try it. It doesn't really benefit you a whole lot for grazing. I mean, there'd be a few more leaves. Um, for an actual cover crop, it really wouldn't do you any good because um, it's a little bit more expensive. But the stuff that we're going to bail, that's why I wanted to get it. But I didn't want to get two different kinds because I only got 100 bushel myself. And it just didn't seem like it made much sense to do that. So this is Ryman Rye. It's a forage rye. We're going to see how it does this year. Uh, in the spring, we're going to bail some of it. Hopefully more than just the 5 acre corner that I did. Hopefully I can do that 15 acres back there and we'll get a really good test and see if it's any good. But it's supposed to be more like a triticale or trichale.
I just vacuumed everything out on the drill because we're done. That's all we have to do until this spring uh, once we cut that ride in the back corner over there, that five acres, we're going to cut it and bale it if it comes up good. And then we're going to go in and plant a sedan with this drill right behind it. <coughs> and then once we plant the sedan, then we can use that as another crop. Uh, hopefully get five bales an acre on five acres should be 25 bales on a good year if that but I do have Instagram and my snapchat um, I'll put my snapchat down below or it might already be there in the description if you guys want to follow along for up-to-date day-to-day stuff I post on there somewhat often so harvest is in full swing and full swing bean harvest I guess which I'm not really around much to help with that. I kind of, well this year I got a lot of extra haying to do uh, since I got that hay company. And then I always drill and kind of till some ground. So I usually maybe get in on the last day or so of bean harvest, but then we will start into some wet corn probably sometime next week. I have a feeling we start poking around. So harvest is going to be coming up. There's going to be lots of videos or lots of camera footage of videos. And I'm going to do my best. I want to put out two videos. A scratch. I want to put out a video every two days-ish if possible. But it takes a lot of editing time. And sometimes when we get full swing on harvest, you know, you get up five... 5, 5.30, start making sandwiches, get out the door, get to the field, get to the elevator. And a lot of times I don't get home till 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. And it, sometimes I'm just too tired to sit down and edit a two hour video. So bear with me this harvest. I will do a lot of videoing. It's just a matter of getting them edited and getting them put up. But I'm gonna try to have one up every couple days. Um, hopefully my wife, We'll learn how to edit and she can edit some videos for me too when she gets off of work so be on the lookout there's going to be a lot of action coming along along with the fourth cutting hay that's going to be probably the next video unless i sneak a bean video in so thanks for hanging out with me this is this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if not well tell me what i'm doing wrong all right guys I'll catch you later.